Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. In this video, we are going to talk about one question that has been asked in CSI and NET 2018 June, that is in the previous attempt. And this question was from the segment, sorry, this question was from the homeotic selected genes from the Drosophila developmental biology. So let's see the question first. So the question is, what, uh, what is the observed phenotype when the ultra pythorex gene is deleted in Drosophila? And we have seen all the different mutation cases that what is going to happen when a particular segment or when a particular region has been removed or it has been mutated. So in that way only they have asked that what will be the phenotype of a drosophila which is going to have a mutant or the deleted ultra bithorex genes. From our previous discussion you know that there is a head section, thorax region as well as the abdominal region in our drosophila embryo and if you talk about the thorax region so it is going to contain total three uh, thoracic segment first was the t1 second was the t2 and third was the t3 in t1 there is only a pair of legs no further appendages has been seen in t2 there is a further appendages too as well as in t3 also in T2, there is a presence of one pair of a leg and one pair of a wings. And in T3 region, there is a presence of a one pair of a leg and one pair of a halter. So this was the overall phenotype of all the three segments that were there in the thoracic region. And if we talk about the genes which used to express in the different thoracic segments. So in T2, there is expression of an antenna pedia that was responsible for the development of a one pair of a leg and one pair of a wing in the T2 segment. And if we talk about the T3 segment, so it is going to show the presence or the expression of an ultra biothorax gene and that was responsible for the development of a one pair of a leg and one pair of a halter. So we have made a quick revision of all the things which we have studied in our previous video. Now if we talk about this question, so in this question they have asked that what will be the phenotype of a drosophila if the ultra bithorax gene is deleted. So if a gene is deleted or mutated, it is going to have a similar effect in like in this condition. All right. So in the previous video, we have seen that whenever there is a deletion or the mutation of a ultra bithorax gene, at that time, what is going to happen? The T3 segment that was showing the expression of a ultra bithorax gene, that T3 segment is going to convert or it is going to transform itself into a T2 segment. Not only the transformation, after the transformation, it is going to show the overall phenotypic effect just like the T2 segment. All right. So now the T3 segment has been transformed into a T2 segment and, and along with that, it, uh, it is also showing the overall phenotypic effect of the T2 segment. So in this way, you can say that there will be a duplication of a T2 segment. That is why whatever the phenotype, uh, phenotypic effect which we are seeing in the T2 segment, the same thing is going to repeat again in the T3 segment that has been transformed into a T2 segments. And if we talk about the phenotype of the T2 segment, so it was it was showing a one pair of a leg and one pair of a wing. So the, uh, this whole thing is going to repeat once again in the T3 segment that has been transformed into a T2 segment right now. So in, T, uh, in the transformed T3 segment also you are going to uh, see a one pair of a wing and one pair of a leg. So in this way you can say that there is a duplication of a wing in a transformed T3 segment. So the mutation of a ultra bithorax gene is going to result in the transformation of a T3 segment into a T2 segment and along with that there will be a phenotypic effect in that transformed T3 segment that is there will be a duplication of a wings. So in this way the normal gene is going to result in a one pair of a wings but in the uh, ultra bithorax mutation case there will be a presence of a two pair of wings that means the four wings. So now let's see the options because we are already done with all the important discussions regarding this question. So the first option is the third thoracic segment is transformed into a, another second thoracic segment resulting in a fly with four wings. So the first option is supposed to be the correct one because in this they have described all the event that we have that we were discussing right now that there will be a transformation of the third thoracic segment that is the T3 into the T2 and that is why there will be a repetition of a phenotype that we were seeing in a T2 segment. So that is why there will be a duplication of a wings that is going to result in total of a four wings. Now let's eliminate the rest of the option. 
so in the second option they have mentioned since it specify the second thoracic segment instead of a antenna leg grows out of the head socket so first of all the ultra wide thorax was not specifying the second thoracic segment okay it was specifying the third thoracic segment and whatever the explanation that they have given in the second option that is the explanation of the antenna pedia not the ultra wide thorax so easily the second option get eliminated third option since it specify the third, uh, third thoracic segment a fly with two pair of a halter develops whatever the discussion which we have made in our previous video there is a no case in which we are seeing that there is a development of a two pair of a halter okay so this option is also easily eliminated because there is a no phenotypic effect or there is a no mutation case in which we are going to see the two pair of a halter that means the four halter okay so this third option has, uh, has also get eliminated the last option is since this gene fails to express in the second thoracic segment the antenna sprout in the leg position so this is also wrong because again this is also a, like one of the mutation case regarding the antenna pedia not the ultra wide thorax ultra wide thorax is only expressed in the third thoracic segment not the second thoracic segment so in this way we can say that the correct answer for this question is the answer number 1 If you like this video then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe this channel for getting more different videos on CSIR net thank you for watching this video